Welcome to Big Daddy Storytime. We're reading Thomas and Friends. Percy takes the plunge. Whoa, can you see Percy there? Sir Topham Hat is talking to him about something. Would you like to read about that something when Percy takes the plunge? You would? Okay, let's get started. Sometimes Percy takes fright, freight cars that is full of stones to the other end of the line. There he meets engines from the other railway. One day, Henry wanted to rest in the shed, but Percy was talking to some tank engines. It was raining hard. Water swirled under my boiler. I couldn't see where I was going, but I struggled on. Oh, Percy, you are brave. Well, well, Percy said modestly, it wasn't anything really. Water's nothing to an engine with determination. Tell us more, Percy, said the engines. What are you engines doing here, hissed Henry. This shed is for Sir Topham Hatt's engines. Go away, silly things, Henry snorted. They're not silly, Percy had, Percy had been enjoying himself. He was cross because Henry had sent them away. They're silly and so are you. Water's nothing to an engine with determination. Puh. Anyway, said Cheeky Percy. I'm not afraid of water. I like it. He ran away singing. Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. Percy arrived home feeling pleased with himself. Silly old Henry chuckled. <laughs> Thomas was looking at, at a sign on the quay. It said, Danger! We mustn't go past it, Thomas said. That's orders! Why? Danger means falling down something, said Thomas. I went past danger once and fell down a mine. Percy looked behind the sign. I don't see a mine, he said. It didn't look, it doesn't look, uh, he didn't know that the foundations of the quay had sunk and that the rails now slooped downwards to the sea. Silly sign, said Percy. For days and days he tried to sneak past it, but his driver stopped him every time. No, you don't, he would say. Then Percy made a plan. One day, at the top of the station, he would he whisper to the freight cars, Will you give me a bump when we get to the quay? The freight cars were surprised. They had never been asked to bump an engine before. They giggled <laughs> and chattered about it the whole way down. What, Percy, what, said the driver. Percy slowed down obediently at the distant signal. Driver doesn't know my plan, he chuckled. <laughs> on, 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 laughed the freight cars. Percy thought they were helping. I'll pretend to stop at the station, but the freight cars will push me past the sign. Then I'll make them stop. I can do that whenever I like. If Percy hadn't been so conceit, he would never have been so silly. Every wise engine knows that you can't trust freight cars. They reached the, tra the station, and Percy's brakes groaned, Err, err. That was the signal for the freight cars. Go on, go on, they yelled and surged forward together. They gave Percy's, Percy a frightful, a fearful bump and knocked his driver and fireman off the footplate. Ow, said Percy, sliding past the sign. The day was misty. The rails were slippery. His wheels wouldn't grip. Don't be upset, my friends. Don't be frightened. There's always a happy ending with Thomas and friends. Percy was frantic. That's enough, he hissed. But it was too late. Once on the slope, he tobogganed helplessly down, crashed through the buffers, and slithered into the sea. You're a very disobedient engine. Percy knew that voice. He groaned. <sighs> The footman had borrowed a small boat and rowed Sir Topham Hat around. Please, sir, get me out, sir. I'm truly sorry, sir. No, Percy, we can't do that till high tide. 
I hope it will teach you to obey orders. Yes, sir, it will, yes, shivered P Percy miserably. He was c c cold. Fish were playing hide and seek through his, whist his wheels. The tide rose higher and higher. He was feeling his position more and more deeply every minute. It was nearly dark when they brought um, when they brought floating cranes, cleared away the freight cars, and lifted Percy out. He was too cold and stiff to move by himself, so he was sent to the works the next day on Henry's goods train. Well, 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 chuckled Henry. Did you like the water? Percy says, no. I'm surprised. You need determination, Percy. Water's nothing to an engine with determination, you know. Perhaps you would like a, would you would like it better next time. But Percy was quite determined that there wouldn't be a next time. What have we learned today, my friends? We learned from Percy and Thomas that we need to be careful in dangerous situations. Have a fun day, my friends. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more Big Daddy Story Time. God bless.